Welcome. My name is Cindy Gantz. Today is Friday, July 17th, and our reading comes from Hebrews. But when Christ appeared as a high priest of the good things that we have come, then through the greater and more perfect tent, not made with hands, that is, not of this creation, he entered once for all into the holy places, not by means of the blood of goats and calves, but by means of his own blood, thus securing an eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls and the sprinkling of defiled persons with the ashes of a heifer sanctify for the purification of the flesh, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Therefore, he is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance, since a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions committed under the first covenant. Our devotion is titled, Holy Spirit Proceeding. As a verb, proceed means to go forward. The Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father and the Son. God the Father, the source, sends the Son out in love. The Father and the Son send the Holy Spirit, our helper, to continue the action. He calls, enlightens, gathers, and sanctifies. From Luther's small catechism, explanation of the third article of the Apostles' Creed. The noun proceeds refers to the profits of a sale or an investment. God turns the noun proceeds into his verb. It is interesting to consider that the task of the Holy Spirit is to deliver us the proceeds of God's work on the cross, the investment made in us through the sacrificial blood of Jesus. This is the verb of love in action. His investment for us. He created us, fearfully and wrongfully made us, in a complex design, knitted together with love and a purpose. God is present through us, through word and sacraments, he pro provides for, cares for, and directs us. God holds us and knows what is to come. All this is so that we might benefit. Jesus died and rose for us. He does the work and we get the proceeds. The Father's love, Christ's grace, and the Holy Spirit's power bringing us to faith. Let us pray. God, thank you for the gift of faith. In Jesus' name, amen. 